sometimes the uh, isolation they, they isolate the woman and um, make her feel bad that because she doesn't have a child she she has no place in the society well my experiences with infertility is not um i can say although it's something i don't know how it came about but i can say i'm not happy with the situation i've gone through um, so many stress, so many pains, trying to see if something can happen. But till now, but I believe that one day God will remember me. In Nigeria, there are so many women facing the same challenges. For instance, there was a woman, she's a very close friend of mine. She was married for 13 years, but at the end of it all, the man threw, the husband threw her things out and asked her to leave the house. So what I did, she told me, I said, okay, if he has done that, that's not the end of the world. You have to gather yourself together. So the woman had to move away from the house. But now as I'm speaking, I'm very happy she is married to another man and the man took her abroad to see if there will be solution or medical solution to her case. Um, me not being able to have children for 10 years, personally I felt bad, but um, I have to be sincere. In terms of the medical support I've gotten, I would say from when the problem started, I actually had fibroid, which when I visited different doctors, gynecologists, they told me that fibroid is not, um, is not um, uh, a serious disease, if I may say, that um, I can get pregnant with fibroid and but in order to be on the safe side that I should get rid of it so I did the first surgery in um, October 2000 and 2003 that was when I did the first surgery and after that I would say maybe I don't know maybe they didn't do it properly I don't know what happened so and it reoccurred again and now and I went to uh, Lantoro Medical Center in Abiokuta um, Abiokuta Ogu State in Nigeria so there they did it and after they did it I was okay because in everything every situation is the woman that is blamed to be blamed the woman is the one that has the problem. The woman is the one that has the issues. Who knows what she has done? I mean, people around there, they don't know what you passed through. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know and they don't want to know. So it has been a very big challenge to me. In Nigeria, let me say from where I grew up, in, in Abia state of Nigeria, Every child is every woman's child. There is no segregation that you are my biological child, you are not my biological child, no. When you see a child doing wrong thing, whether that child belongs to you or not, you put that child to order. You might just spank the child. Come on, stop doing that. And the mother might be somewhere watching you. She knows that what you are doing, you are doing the right thing. And she too would equally do the same thing to another person's child. So in Nigeria, every child belongs to everybody. It doesn't mean for you to bring up a child does not mean that child must be from your womb. I don't think it should be like that. But maybe 
why it has become as if it's something similar like that is because of the environment we are in. Sometimes you might want to help a child now. Maybe the parents will pick quarrels and say, yeah, you want to turn my child's head. You don't want my child to know me anymore. This, this that, that. So while, in the other hand, some people didn't take it like that. Of course, it is possible to live up to the cultural standard of, the, of Nigeria without being a biological mother. Like I said before, you can take care of other children, not necessarily because they don't belong to you. Other people's children are your children. Some will say the woman is a witch, this woman is eating all the babies in your womb, or they look at such a woman as somebody who has a marine spirit, who could not produce a child, maybe they will say that because um, you have a marine spirit, you have had all your children in the spirit world and order. There are a lot of children I view as my children. Um, I have some pictures in my phone of children that I cherish so much. And anytime I'm with them, I feel they are my biological children. The way I relate to them, the way they relate to me, they are so happy staying with me. I can travel from here to another state in Nigeria with them. Their mother don't mind. She don't care. So long as they are with me, she feels and she believes that they are in safe hand. And equally, where I'm staying, I have some kids around that comes to stay with me, play with me, and run errands for me. So. They are my children. It makes me feel happy that I'm contributing in raising children in the community. Because um, those children I raise see me equally as their mother. So they don't see me as an outsider. What their mother will give to them or do to them, I will do the same way. I say, come on, you are equally my child. And as a matter of fact, when they come here, they don't call me auntie. They call me mommy, mommy, mommy. And I don't tell them don't call me mommy because they are my children also. 